Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and uh, with Halloween right around the corner, I thought I'd do something fun for you guys today, and I'm going to show you my three zombie killing weapons. Now, uh, this isn't what I would actually bring if there was a uprising of the undead, but these are just three things that I put together that uh, I feel would really help out, okay? So, uh, number one being my shotgun. Uh, my shotgun, it's depending on the ammunition you put in it, whether it's slugs, buckshot, birdshot, it can take out anything from a squirrel to a moose, you know, as long as you have the correct ammunition for what you're after. And so with this, I think it can perform a lot of different tasks. It can provide food, uh, it can protect me against the undead. Uh, it can also just serve as a warning for other humans in the area. I can, uh, just the sound alone for home defense, just that, you know, is enough to scare most people away. And so my number one pick was my shotgun. Uh, number two, I have my hatchet. Now, I picked my hatchet because it's got reach, right? There's reach and that two pound head is going to do a lot of the work for me. It's not going to be real hard to impact a zombie, you know what I mean? And so I picked a hatchet, not only for its wood processing capabilities, but also for the minimal, minimal effort it would take to uh, demantle the undead. Uh, last would be my katana. Now this is a high carbon steel, uh, the handle is made out of metal, it's pinned in place, it's got a blood filler. This is a battle ready katana. This is razor, razor sharp. Uh, this isn't something that you just pick up at the mall, right? This is, it's a wood saber with leather. You can see how smooth this goes in. And uh, it's not like the mall katanas where everything is plastic, the handle's plastic, the sheath is plastic. Uh, I can't even cut butter. This thing is duller than dull. You know, so it's not... You can't just go find a katana and think that you have yourself a, a tool that can be used for whatever you would use a katana for. You have to do your research. And you have to, see that? You have to do your research because not all katanas are treated equally. So those are my three, two, my three weapons, okay? These are the weapons that I would use for a zombie apocalypse. And uh, the thing that I like about this setup is if I added a Baco Laplander and an LT Wright Genesis with a ferro rod on the side, uh, it becomes a well-rounded survival kit. I have the ability to process wood, I have the ability to uh, get food. So when it comes to food, water, and shelter, uh, I can boil water to make it potable to drink. Uh, it becomes a pretty good survival uh, system as well. And so with that being said, I want to know what tools do you plan on bringing with you if this Halloween the undead did rise? What is something that you think would be the most effective that you own? Leave that in the comment section below. Then make sure to like and share this video so that we can spread those ideas and maybe get even some more ideas from the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday. They're usually about camping and not about zombies. Puppy's frustrated. She's, she's scared about the zombies as well. But, uh... I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Oh.